Hello friends, welcome to JavaFX GUI tutorial. In this video, we are going to see how to create and use a scroll bar. So scroll bars are used to get values in increment or decrement. So when it produces such so when it produces such a increment or a decrement that uh, linear increment and decrement will help in uh, scrolling a document but uh, you can use that for other purpose also that's why here we created this uh, scroll bar example A scroll bar in JavaFX can provide values in increment or in decrements. User can perform scrolling action by moving the scroll thumb, that's one way, or by clicking the arrows. The arrow will be in the left or right side when scroll bar is in horizontal position. When it is in vertical position, the scroll bar will be in that top as well as in the bottom position or you can also use the black increment and decrement region so to know this clearly you can look at the picture beside and this is what called scroll thumb and you can move this scroll thumb left and right thereby you can produce a different value when you are uh, uh, scrolling the thumb or when you are moving the thumb in this uh, track region so that's one way of producing the value scroll scrolling the thumb or by clicking the arrows and if you see this is a horizontal scroll bar there is a arrow in the left side and there is a arrow in the right side so when you keep on clicking this the scroll bar will start moving towards left thereby decrementing the value Similarly, when you click on the right side, it will move towards the right, thereby incrementing the value. Providing that the value is higher on the right side and lesser on the left side. Then there is a way to produce event by clicking this region. And if you see, these regions are called black increment or decrement region based on the orientation and when you click here the increment will be in blocks so when you move it will linearly produce the value when you click the arrow the time also you will get a linear value and when you click here you will get values in in the form of uh, steps Below are the frequently used methods or we can say uh, method that will set uh, uh, important properties on the scroll bar. One is set minimum. So say for example if you set zero then when a scroll thumb is towards the leftmost edge it will produce the value zero. So you can set that using the set min. Then set max, so that tells when scroll thumb is towards the top, I mean uh, towards the uh, rightmost edge, what is the value. So that's what you can set here. Say for example, if I set 100, then the sc scrolling will produce a range of value between 0 and 100. Or we can say it will produce a minimum of 0 and maximum of 100 depending on the uh, scroll thumb position next uh, set value suppose if I specify 80 the scroll thumb will go ahead and uh, sit on that uh, specific location the same value the same way you can also get the value to inquire what is the current scroll thumb position set minimum height so This is what you can request the JavaFX layout to set a height. Similarly, you can request the width as well. 
so this one will be the requested width and java fx will set the width which you specify using the set min width then you can also perform a set black increment say for example if you pass 5 to this set block increment whenever you click this region from the current value it will get reduced in terms of steps so since this is the black decrement region the value will be reduced in steps and this is the black increment region and value will get incremented in steps for each click it will increment uh, in uh, 5 suppose if current position is 8 when you make a click on this side it will go from 80 to 85 and when you make a click towards the left you will get a value of 75 so that's the black increment and if you set 10 here then black increment will be in terms of 10 so when you click here you will get 70 and the right side when you click you will get uh, 90 one can track change in scroll bar value by providing the change listener and overriding the change method now let's look at the code here if you see we created a flow pan let us say insert gap and we retrieve the child controls then we set the flow pan to the scene here we are creating the scroll bar then we set all the property minimum zero left most value is zero right most value is 200 that means maximum value is 200 and if we are setting the scroll thumb position at 120 and we are requesting the minimum height as well as width in terms of pixel then we set black increment of 5 so after setting up this scroll bar we are adding it to our flow pan control then we are creating a label setting Verdana font size 14 and we are adding that to the flow pan control so now flow pan controls that means the flow pan contains two nodes one is scroll bar and another one is label this label we will use to report the scrolling value so here if you see this is the scroll bar we already created right scroll bar value property since it's a property we can equip that with a listener and here we are passing the change listener so where here we override the changed method and from this we can make use of old and new value and using our label we report scroll bar value is new value dot so whatever is coming here as parameter we are using that and reporting the uh, scroll a scroll bar value change so scroll bar will change the value when you produce the action as we already talked in the previous slide there are a variety of way you can change the value you can either click the arrows or you can hold your left button here on this thumb and you can move your mouse left and right that will produce the value continuously or you can do the black increment and decrement as well by clicking the specific region we will test all this in the demo now let's go to the demo and implement it so far we created 14 examples now we will make a copy of the existing code and paste it on the javafx ui project i mean we can javafx ui package
so I just uh, cleared the content so first we set up the flow pan so we have done this uh, many time that's why we I fast forwarded the video so as already explained in the PowerPoint slide here we are creating the scroll bar and scroll bar is from Java FX scene control then we are creating the label and we are setting the font to the label so this is our scroll bar set min max all these stuffs are already explained in the slide next uh, we handle the value change so this will tell us uh, what is the change in value whenever you interact with the uh, scroll bar node and here we are creating the scene right and we will show the stage to the user with all the controls So I forgot to change the file name. Let's do that. So what I did is I just highlighted it, then clicked the F2 key. And we will organize it 15. Then so scroll bar dot Java and if you see it automatically renamed our class name also it requires building again now we will run the file so if you see the scroll bar is displayed here we have a scroll pan sorry we have flow pan so since I reduced the site I mean reduce the size the label will go in the next line first uh, let me increment it using the arrow button and if you see the initial value what we set is 120 now let me click once and if you see the value is 121 122 123 so here it is incrementing by 1 and when I click on the left side 122 121 so this is one the next one is black increment and decrement now this time I am using the black increment decrement region when I click here once you will see value get decreased in 5 115 110 105 110 right similarly here we will we will see the increment in steps so this is one way you can also hold down our left mouse button and drag it to continuously increase or decrease the value all right that's all here in this example Thank you for watching. Bye.